Hi everyone! Welcome to Indian Story Read Along. Today we are going to continue the stories about the 12 Jyotirlingas. And we're going to talk about and read the stories of Bhima Shankar and Vishweshwara. So let's get started. First, we're going to look at the shrine of Bhima Shankar. Okay, so there once lived a Rakshasa called Bhima who was the son of Ravana's brother Kumbhakarna. So he's sitting there with his mother there. One day, mother, where is my father? Why do we live here alone? His mother says, son, your father, the mighty Kumbhakarna, was killed by Rama, an incarnation of Vishnu. Since then, I am living here alone on this mountain with you. This enraged Bhima. He swore to avenge his father's death. He did severe penance and pleased Brahma. Well, Brahma shows up and says, Go, my son. You will be all powerful. Thus started a time of terror. He vanquished Indra and the other devas and drove them away from their abodes. He drove them out of their houses and out of heaven. And he's growling, Grah! <laughs> That's my best growl. Even the Lord protector of the universe, Vishnu, was defeated. Now he turned his attention to earth. On the earth, there lived a good and virtuous king called Sudakshina. Bhima had him arrested and thrown into a dungeon. He's grabbing him and dragging him in there. I am the only lord here. Just remember that. But in prison, King Sudakshina fashioned a Shivalinga out of mud and started worshipping it. There he's praying Om Namah Shivaya. So one of his henchmen is telling him now, Bhima, Oh, powerful one, the king is performing rituals for your destruction. This infuriated Bhima. Sword drawn, he advanced upon the linga to destroy it. And he's saying to himself, this is the last time he does it. But from the linga, Lord Shiva emerged in a supremely glorious form. Here too he uttered a fearful cry, hearing which all the demons dropped down dead. Rah! If you remember in the last video, he also did that at Mahakaleshwar. The Deva showered flowers on the Linga. And then they're asking him, Lord, let this spot become venerated by your presence. Let it be blessed by you being here. Shiva complied with their request and is worshipped here as the Bhima Shankar Jyotir Linga. Well, that is the Bhima Shankar Linga. Next, what we're going to look at is the Vishweshwara Linga. So here is the story of the Vishweshwara Linga in Kashi. At the beginning of creation, the one Parameshwar, that means the one true being, the source of all power, desired to become the many. He split himself and became Purusha, spirit, and Prakriti, matter. Then there was a voice from the heavens. Both of you should perform penance. Only then will you be able to create a beautiful world. Purusha and Prakriti were bewildered. They were confused. But where are we to sit for penance? There is no place for us to do penance. I know it's a little wiped out there. It's a very old book, but that's what she's saying. There's no place for us to do penance. So I guess the one true voice thought that she's right. There's no place for them to sit and do penance. They're the only things created right now. So a beautiful city, five koshas long, and it says in brackets, 
Panchakroshi, or simply Kashi, as it is known today, was then created for them. When Lord Vishnu beheld its beauty, he shook his head in disbelief. A jewel from his ear fell down on a spot which is now, today, is known as Manikarnika. For their worship, Shiva came and resided here as the Abhimuktalinga. This Jyotirlinga, known as Vishweshwara, is one of the most famous temples in India. The city itself is supposed to be imperishable as it is firmly anchored by the trident of Lord Shiva. So those were the stories that we looked at today. Bhima Shankar and Vishweshwara. There are still more stories about the remaining Jyotirlingas to go. So please, I hope you'll join us again and read with us the remaining stories about the 12 Jyotirlingas. I hope you had a good time today. Please subscribe to this channel, Indian Story Read Along. See you later.